Hey guys, today we're gonna to be doing a pretty quick flow that's just gonna help you de-stress before the holidays and during the holidays, just to give you some time, some intentional time for you to take with yourself on your mat, feeling your breath, feeling your body, and just some time for you, okay? So let's go ahead and hop on our mats. Feel free to grab any props that you'd like and just remember props are not a weakness. <laughs> Do not show any kind of weakness in yoga. Props are literally an extension of your practice and there to help and support you. So grab whatever you need and let's just start in an easy seat. Cross your legs and just let your hands just fall wherever they fall comfortably. So maybe that's on your knees, your thighs. Maybe you wanna feel a little bit more connection and feel your breath. So you can place your hands on your body. Maybe one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. And just come into a natural breath. Let your eyes fall shut. See if you can lift the crown of your head up towards the ceiling, just a little bit more. See how that makes you sit up just a little bit taller. And let your breath just sink into it. Not feeling like you have to do any certain kind of yoga breath right now, just truly breathe like you. In these first few moments on our mat, just let yourself arrive. And now let's start to be more intentional with our breath. Listening to it going in and out of our bodies. Noticing if your breath feels shallow, if it feels like it has an imbalanced rhythm to it, whatever it is. Now together, take a really deep breath in. And through your nose, let it out. And again, breathe in. And through your nose, exhale. And one more like that, breathe in. And release. Take a deep breath in. Now open up your mouth side out. <sighs> Inhale through your nose. Now exhale through your nose. And breathe in through your nose. And exhale, release. And one more time, breathe in. And empty through your nose. And big breath in. See if you can hold it at the top. Sip in just a little bit more air. Now open your mouth side out. Good, now flutter your eyes open. Hello, light. <laughs> breathe in, reach your arms up high towards the sky. And drop your left hand down and reach over towards the left, really getting into that right side body. And see if you can press your right hip down towards the earth a little bit more. Rotate your heart open. And then just switch it out, go to the other side. Notice if you started to hold your breath. And then slowly release. Go back to the other side once again. And then right away switch it out. And release, let it go. Now from here we're gonna come onto our heels. So on your knees, sit back onto your heels. And now have all of your toes touching the mat. So you might need to actually take your pinky toe and place it on the mat. And now this might feel really intense for you. This might be stretching your feet a lot. We don't really notice how tight our feet can be, but we're using them all the time, God willing, and they can get pretty tight. So just let that stretch happen for a second. There's been many in-studio classes that I've taught where people are like, oh my, I'm like, I know, it can be intense. <laughs> okay, breathe in, reach up. On the exhale, find an interlace grip behind your back. Drop your knuckles down, rotate your heart open, your shoulders back, heart open. Put a nice arch in your back, so really lifting your heart up towards the sky. And release, let that go. Coming into all fours, tabletop. So untuck your toes, press the tops of your feet down, coming into a few rounds of cat-cow. These feel so, so good. <laughs> Drop your belly down, arch your back, Take your gaze forward, big sip of air in. And on the exhale, coming into your cat, so rounding your spine, 
and press the earth away. Really dome your back. And breathe in, open up. And exhale, hug in. Two more rounds. Go ahead and do it on your own breath. You want to stay a little bit longer and get out any of those places that feel sticky or pretty tight. You can find some movement there. And finish up the last round that you're in. And then come to just a neutral spine, back to your tabletop. Press down through your left palm. Extend your right fingertips high. Really open up, feel that stretch, and then thread it through coming into your twisted puppy. This feels so good. So really rotating your torso open. You can use your left palm to press the earth away. I like doing that to help kind of get more of a more of a twist, but make sure that you're listening to your body through this entire class and always. You never want to push it too, too far. And then slowly release, reach back up towards the sky. Feel that nice counter stretch. Place your hand back down and switch out our side. So reaching your left fingertips high. Feel the stretch first and then thread it on through. Reconnect with your breath. Think about every inhale, your body is lengthening, your spine is lengthening. And on every exhale, that's when you get to go a little bit deeper. And right now we're twisting, so twist a little bit deeper. It's like you're wringing everything out. Good, slowly release. Reach your fingertips back up towards the sky. That counter stretch and go ahead and release it all down. From here, tuck your toes under, sending your hips up and back, downward facing dog, and go ahead and walk it all out. Release anything that you need to. You might be holding on to a little bit more stress during this time of the year. So here's your chance to just take some time for you and stretch out those spaces and places in your body that maybe you haven't had enough love lately. My calves, my legs in general just feel super tight. Not that I've done anything specific, I just am really tight right now. <laughs> so finding the movement in your downward facing dog that feels good to you. Once you feel ready, find some stillness. Let your torso fall heavy towards the top of your thighs. Hamstrings are pressing back. Make sure that your fingertips are really pressing into the earth and your fingers are spread really wide apart. Getting that really nice firm foundation. So think foundation first and then all the way up through your body. And deep breath in. And exhale, let it go. Inhale to lift your right leg high. Bend your knees, stack your hips open and just let that stretch happen. Hug your heel closer towards your bum. Knee lifts higher towards the sky. Maybe roll out your ankle. And breathe in. And breathe out. Then from here, bring your right knee to your right elbow. Hug in. Send it up and back. Right knee to left elbow. Tap. Send it back. Right knee towards your nose. Hug in. Now go ahead and step your foot through. Lower your back knee down. Anjanayasana. Coming into a low lunge here. Keep your back toes tucked under. Breathe in. Reach your fingertips high towards the sky. Think about knitting your ribs in, keeping your core really tight. So think about scooping your tailbone under and core hugging in. You're going to feel this a lot on your left side here. Letting the hip flexor open up. Breathe in. On the exhale, just coming into a half split. See if you can flex your right foot as best as you can. So think about your toes going back towards your face. Your spine stays lengthened nice and long. If you need to here, you can always bend your front leg. And keep thinking about working to get belly to thigh connection. You'll notice as you breathe, you start to get a little bit warmer. You can go a little bit further. So again, not forcing it, especially on that first breath when you just get into a pose. Let your body kind of do its thing. Just another round of breath. Good. Now we're coming into a little twist here. So keep your leg where it is. Take your left hand, 
See if you can place it on the outside of your right foot. If that's not accessible to you, you can grab onto your leg. Maybe just keep your fingertips down so finding what's working in your body. And then you're gonna open up over to the right. Fingertips draw back, rotating your heart up and open. This will really test your balance. <laughs> if you fall out of it, it's fine. Who cares? Get right back in. And together, inhale. And on the exhale, go ahead and release. Now put a deep bend into that front leg. Place your left hand down if it's not already. Lift your back knee up. We're coming into an easy twist. Hug everything into center line. Press more weight into the big toe side of your right foot. Inner thighs really turn on here. And on the exhale, frame your right foot, step it back, coming into a high plank. You can come down on knees, chest, chin here, or lower down halfway, going into your chaturanga, up through your upward facing dog. Let's just maybe linger here for a second. Ooh, that feels good. Lift your thighs off of the mat and downward facing dog. Settle back in. Lift your left leg high, bend your knees, stack your hips up and open. Roll out your ankle if you need. And draw your knee towards your left elbow. Send it back. Over to the right elbow. Tap. Send it back. Knee to nose, step it on through, lower the back knee down, sweep your fingertips high towards the sky. And remember, keep your back toes tucked under. Scoop up through your belly, your tailbone tucks under. And reconnect your breath. Notice, did you start to hold your breath? I just did for a second. <laughs> Now this time, the right side is really getting stretched out. And we always have one side that feels different than the other side. So give yourself some grace. It's definitely a normal thing. Coming into the half split. Again, bend that front leg as much as you need. You can even start with it bent. And then as it starts to warm up, as you breathe, you can start to straighten it if that's working. Again, nice long spine. Think energy coming out through the crown of your head. It starts at your tailbone and then goes all the way through your spine out through the crown of your head. Yoga always reminds me of how much I need to get a pedicure. <laughs> every time, every time. All right, coming into that twist. See if you can just mirror match whatever you did on the other side and open up. Hug in to find that balance. Focus on your breath. Place your gaze in just one spot. That'll help you not fall over like I almost just did. <laughs> Breathe in. Breathe out. Let's stay for one more round. Inhale. And on the exhale, release. Place your hands down. Deep bend into the front leg. Place your right palm down if it's not already. And lift your back knee up. Find that twist. See if you can square off through your hips a little bit more and let your hips just sink into it. And keep your back leg charged up and really, really strong. So your heel is shifting more forward, so it's stacked over your toes rather than pressing back like that. Hug into center line, squeeze, activate your inner thighs, breathe in. On the exhale, frame your left foot, step it on back, and then go through your flow. And we'll meet in downward facing dog. Big breath in, and big breath out through your mouth. Shake it on out. From here, lift your right leg high, bend your knees, stack your hips open, but then this time draw your right knee to your right wrist. Slide your left leg long behind you. Make sure that your foot and your leg stay in alignment. Square your hips as best as you can. Press down through your fingertips and lift your chest up. Nice and proud. Now you can stay here 
or if you want to find a little bit more depth, you can go ahead and crawl your fingertips forward, bowing over your front leg. Now our hip space is usually really intense. That's a very common thing <laughs> because we hold a lot of our emotions physically in our body and, and a lot of times that space is in our hips. So just know that if you're feeling a little bit more stressed than usual, maybe your hip space feels a little bit more tighter than usual. So just use your breath to deepen into it. Let your hips feel really heavy down towards the ground most important thing here is to breathe. You now you can stay and linger here as long as you like, maybe pause it, stay for a while, but if you're ready, go ahead, come back up. And now lean over to the right, swing your left leg around. Just coming to a little diagonal with your left leg, bring your right foot to the inside of your left thigh. Inhale to reach up, square your chest with your leg, and bow forward. This is a really great place to have you know, a strap, and if you don't have a strap, then you can grab a dish towel or something like that. You could always grab something around your house to use as a prop, whether that's a block or a bolster. You can always find something around the house that can serve as a prop instead of buying all the props. <laughs> and slowly release, bring your right hand behind your right hip, stargazer, press down, lift up and open, see how much space you can take up. Big breath here. Slowly release, cross your legs, plant your hands, come back to your downward facing dog. And right away over to the left side. Lift your leg, bend your knee, stack your hips open. Good, draw your left knee behind your left wrist. Slide your right leg nice and long, gaze back, make sure everything's in alignment. Square off through your hips, puff up through your heart first. See if you can draw your shoulders down your back away from your ears, just a little bit more. balance out so whatever you did on the other side do the same thing here on this side and that space that feels really intense right now that may be screaming at you see if you can just send all of your breath and visualize all of that breath going to that space and one more round of breath Again, linger here if you'd like. If not, and if you're ready, go ahead, come back up. Lift up to your heart, and then lean to the left, swing your right leg around. Make sure your right foot is nice and flexed. Inhale, lift up, square your chest with your leg, and then bow forward. You can even use your other hand to help press down your left leg. Think long line of energy from your tailbone all the way up through your spine, out through the crown of your head. And release. Left hand goes behind your left hip. Stargazer, reach up and open. Rotate your heart up towards the sky. And on your exhale, slowly lower your hips back down. And then just coming into a butterfly. So bottoms of your feet to touch. Let your knees splay out. Now you have a few options here. You can take your peace fingers around your big toes, lift them up, lengthen through your spine. You can create like a little basket with your hands for your feet. Maybe pressing down on your thighs feels good. Just finding whatever works for you. You can allow it to build with your breath. I like to inhale, lift up nice and tall through my spine, and then I like to bow forward. I like to release my hands, reach forward. So finding your own depth. And really opening up that, that hip space today. Trying to release all that stress we got going on. <laughs> all right, slowly come out of it, release, come back to a nice easy seat just how we started and now place one hand on your heart one hand on your belly feel your breath as it enters and exits your body and notice if it feels any different from when we started and notice that it doesn't take a whole lot to feel that shift 
feel that shift in your body, in your energy, in your mind. And let's take a big cleansing breath together. Inhale. Through your mouth, sigh it out. Breathe in, sweep your arms up high. Press your palms together, bring them down next to your heart. And press your thumbs into your sternum, into your chest. And bow your head forward. Press your palms together. And take a deep breath in. And empty. I hope that you all have an amazing holiday season. I hope that you feel encouraged to take some more time for yourself. And even if it's just a couple minutes, whether you roll out a mat and do a physical practice, or if you're standing in your kitchen and take a minute to do a few rounds of breath, that's still yoga. Thank you so much for joining me. Bring your thumbs to Third Eye Center and we bow together. Namaste.